Hello guys, it's MDragonfl83 and welcome back to another episode on the Eccentric SMP. So, I am here with no one at the moment. Well, everyone was playing about two hours ago but I couldn't join at that time, but I can now. And I've decided to record because too much has happened in the past week of this SMP being in place. So I want to show you everything, and I'm just going to take you through a quick tour before I get started with today's episode. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Now then, let's start with this minecart track, which, if you saw from the sign, takes us to the iron farm, which I created myself. Oh, why is that minecart there? Oh well. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, okay. So, yes, this is my iron farm. I built it, and I finished it like a day after I uploaded episode 2. So, let's have a look at the chest. Look, 50 iron. Let's take some, because it's good to have some iron on you all the time. And down here are all the villagers that I've been using for the iron farm. You're the only one not in bed. That's kind of annoying. Get in bed. If we just close that and head back, I can show you everything else. Alright, let's go. But I think we're going to sleep first. And then I can show you the biggest project of them all. Well, after the iron farm, of course. That definitely was the biggest. Alright, let's fill this chest with the minecarts. And we'll go to sleep, I guess. Now then, each episode, it will probably look very different to what you're used to. Because we do quite a bit off camera. And why is it still raining? Are you serious? Well, I can show you this. This used to be just the entrance to my mine, but now it's called the underpass. And this is what it looks like. It connects the back of the villager breeding room to my other friend's house, to my new villager trading hall which is currently still under construction to my new tiny sugarcane farm which isn't automatic or that tiny anymore oh a lot of xp now i've been trying to get mending for a little while but that hasn't happened yet but look i've got a diamond sword with Looting 3 and breaking 3, and now I've got a diamond chest plate with protection 3. I would show you guys my secret chest, but that would be in a parallel universe. So why don't we head over to the other side of the map? Because I think there's some new stuff that even I haven't seen yet. Well, I've seen this. This connects Spoots' house, this big one over here and radish up here or well yeah i think it looks quite nice it's had an expansion since i've last been here and i have no idea what that big thing in the sky is oh this used to be a house it's turned into a tree farm now and i don't know what that is um oh well so yeah, that's basically all I have to show, except for that we've had a new addition, the cow farm, and yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to show. Now, let's do some stuff. Now, I don't actually really have any ideas on what to do, so... Unless I can't find something to do, then it will just have to be getting enchanted from villagers, I guess? 
I don't know. Oh, well, we can find a place to grow these, can't we? We can also do that in the underpass, maybe. And we've got bone meal here, yes. There we go. Oh, yeah, we should plant those. And saddle. Maybe we could go exploring and find a horse. That'd be cool. Alright, let's take the saddle out then. And... Oh, yeah. I also want to decorate my house with more flowers. So... First of all, let's create ten flower pots. That's a lot. Let's just place them around the house. And it will just make the place look nicer. Let's put one there. And we've also got one there. And these are my dogs. We've got Pablo, we've got Gerald, and this one's unnamed. This one's new. Oh yeah, Pablo and Gerald are well they were here last episode, so you would have seen them already. Oh. Well, There were like trapdoor tables here before, but I've removed it because my old secret chest location was actually under them, which was a very, very stupid place to put them. But I've moved it now and I'm not telling you where. It will stay a secret. Let's put a flower pot there and there. And where else? Where else can we put flower pots? I don't know, I guess we'll just put them in the chest. And now let's go exploring. I need to find a pains biome, ideally. And I'm pretty sure there's one this way. So, let's go. I'd, well, I would. Well, actually, I kind of need it to not be raining for me to get a horse. So if it could stop, that would be great. Right, what are you doing in the sheep farm? Come on! Before, sheep kept going into the cow farm, and now this? Oh my goodness. Go through here if we're gonna go down to the underpass. And you know what? I think we could grow my glowberries just under here. That would be interesting. Alright, let's do that. Oh, I didn't mean to make it three blocks wide, but I guess it is three blocks wide now. I mean, glowberries aren't that useful at all, but it will be a nice decoration. And we've got 44 bone meal here, so can make those glow and we've got two more one two three four one more to put there I guess there we go that looks a lot nicer and now that they'll eventually grow and they grow their own glowberries and I don't have to bone meal them each time. Alright, let's do something kind of serious. Let's get some flowers. With my bow meal, which I just put away. Oh, 
Oh, I hate it when I put something away that I eventually need within the next five seconds. I'm gonna get some daisies. One more. Oh, alright. Two more, I guess. And some dandelions. And finally, some of you. There we go. Daisy. Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. Poppy. Poppy. And then there's two more. And they're down in the underpass. I really like this area. It's very good. It connects a lot of important places. It connects all the villagers to my house to the other side of the map. Very cool. Now we can actually put these flowers back, which we actually don't need. Hopefully it becomes night time soon so that I can sleep. And then it will stop raining. But for now, I can plan a new project, which I've been thinking of recently. So we're going to need another pickaxe because I wanted to try and well actually I want to show you guys what's actually down here first I haven't been down here myself in a while so it would be nice to have a look now I wonder if it'll be cheating to use an app on my phone to find diamonds well if it is or not I'm probably not going to use that because I don't cheat. Alright, that took a while. Here we go. This is basically just a really boring strip mine. And I do not know why all these holes are here. I did not do these. So yeah, this is basically just where I come to mine for deep slay or diamonds oh yeah that's my most recent one that's why there's no random holes what I'll do is dig two blocks and I'll start another strip mine because then we can find brand new stuff I'm not going to go too much into this though because I do most of my mining off camera. Is it night time yet? Ooh, yes it is. Now then, very quickly, I have a ooh, I have a broken pickaxe, but I also have a funny story which um is actually a little bit embarrassing. So the other day, by the other day I mean today, earlier today, I needed leather, so I found a llama, and I was going to kill the llama, and I realised it was across the cave, so I jumped over the cave to kill the llama, and it was like, what, three block jump? And then I fell, I fell down the cave, but I felt grateful because there was water down the cave. We found diamonds! Yes, there was water at the bottom of the cave. So I felt fine because I thought I was going to land in the water, but I did land in the water and I fell straight next to the water and died. That is really funny. Anyways, let's keep us updated. Eight diamonds! Amazing! Hey, maybe I should tell more stupid stories so that I get more diamonds. Let me think of one. Oh yeah, I've got one. So today I was expanding the sugarcane farm, right? And 
Well, it was raining at the moment, so mobs can spawn. And I didn't put torches in the area, so a creeper managed to spawn. And then when I came back from getting more resources, I'm going to assume it was stone, but I can't remember. I came back from getting stone, and a creeper had walked into my sugarcane farm, disguised with the sugarcane. I completely could not see the creeper. And then I heard the hissing sound, and then it just exploded. And it even did damage up in my house. That's why the oak planks were there, because that's the actual floor to my house. So yeah, and my dogs even... One of my dogs even fell down into the sugarcane farm. So I had to pick it up and take it back. So yeah, um, I didn't find any diamonds, so I'm going to go back now. But I just randomly found eight diamonds, even when I wasn't trying that much. Which is always a bonus. So, as expected, I'm going to make some new stuff with my diamonds. And then I'm going to keep them in my inventory until the end of the video so that I can put them in my secret chest so that no one sees. Oh yeah, that random big hole was where I found a vein of iron. What is this though? What is this? Free crafting table. Someone must have mined down here. Probably looking for iron or coal. But if you're going to look for coal, dig a much less deeper hole. Because it's more common behind you same with iron. I don't know what they were trying to do there. Maybe they were trying to find gold. Alright, we've reached the underpass, but I don't want to be here, so let's go up. It's still raining! Ugh. So miserable. It's always raining. And even the sound is annoying. Well, I guess I could put this away until it actually stops raining. Now, I've already got a diamond pickaxe in my secret chest. So what I'm going to do is make some leggings. And then a shovel with my extra diamond. Yes, say goodbye to iron leggings and iron shovels. Oh, this chest is full. Well, you know what, I'll keep that in there for now, but this chest here isn't full. So we can fill it up with random stuff. Right here we've got a bow that doesn't need to be used. And we don't need two boats right now, we don't need this paper right now, we don't need these books, these saplings, this cobblestone bone meal, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, let's see if we can actually go exploring and properly find a horse. Yeah, I do have my saddle, good. And the reason why I've got so much chicken is because my chicken farm was packed at the time, and normally I would have gotten like 40 chicken, but I put looting 3 on my sword, so I ended up with 60 chicken. So yeah, that's cool. And is there a plains this way? I honestly don't know where I'm going, so I hope I'm right. I was wrong. Yeah, this is where the spruce forest is. I went the wrong way. Hang on, let me use my um my remembrance skills, which aren't very high at the moment. Which way spawn? Oh. Oh. There should be a plains this way then, like over there. Okay. I might end up going to spawn. Maybe? 
Yeah, so if we head to spawn, there'll be a plains. Because there's a plains at spawn, I remember that, because that's when I died and lost all my stuff. That's the story I explained in episode 2. Oh yes, there's definitely a plains this way. And it's quite a large one as well, so it's not like we're going to run out of planes. Oh, we've come across the iron farm. Well, hello there. Well, we're here. Any more iron? Nope. I was 25 in the last time I came. Alright, bye. Behind the swamp, it's hard to see. Well, it's hard to see, but there is a bank. Well, I mean, sheep are spawning, so horses should also spawn. Okay, let's find one. I don't care if it's slow, I just really want to bring one back. Oh, tulips. I did not realise these were here before. I want to bring back these. Yeah, I'm sorry it's quite laggy, it's just because, you know, it's quite a big SMP. A lot of chunks have been loaded. There's not really much I can do about that. Oh, baby horses. Not helpful at all, thanks. I need some adult horses. Or, why? Well, I just need one. Oh, we've got both. Both of those sheep. Oh, random patch of these flowers. I'll bring that home too. I don't think I saw that over those tulip bits. Any more animals? This might be a record. By the time I've ended the video, it could have been raining non-stop the whole video. That would be quite cool, but also really triggering because the rain annoys me. Is it getting darker? It feels like it's getting darker. What's this though? It's a horse! It seems like quite a fast fella. But I don't know yet. Now let's ride home. Oh yeah, this guy's good. This is a good horse. Yep. Oh, we found the horse. This is what I'll be using to travel from now on. Yeah, the plains wasn't that far from home at all. So it should be up here. The only annoying thing about these cars is that sometimes they're too big to go through these trees. Right. I'll just sleep. Oh, you stayed right here. I mean, you kind of have to stay right here. No, I want to break this one. There we go. And he jumps good too. Perfect. Whoa. You're a high jumper. Oh, I love this horse already. Oh, climbs the mountains. 
so quickly as well. Do I have any fences on me right now? No. Oh, I guess I can just keep you here until I build an actual place for you. Let's plant down some of these new flowers to make our bit look nicer. I pretty much just own this whole bit of the mountain since no one really lives here. It's just me. Just me on this bit. Well, anyways. I think that's going to wrap up today's SMP video. Don't forget to, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll update you on episode 4 on everything that's happened after this episode. Oh yeah, and it is still raining, so after this I'm probably going to log off and rejoin and see if it stops. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.